they were talking about PlayStation oh. and the state of Bungie because the last 24 hours have been incredibly chaotic for a lot of Sony and PlayStation fans because... What are you talking about, bro? PlayStation fans don't even care about this, man. Like, are you serious, bro? You know what real gamers were doing for the last 24 hours, Dreamcast guy, playing video games. Not caring about what's going on with Sony and Bungie. And this has been going on for over 30 plus years. And the only time you people want to talk about it is because people get laid off. I can guarantee you 100% of these people don't even care about you. Why do I care, man? I'm out here looking forward to the games. Oh, but all these people getting laid off at their job. And, you know, it's not a good look for Sony. But what about the games that you people are playing? Why does any of this matter is all I'm saying. Of the mass layoffs. And I did a video yesterday kind of reacting to the news. Seriously? Because I am just understandably upset. I mean, it the feels- fact that Bungie didn't drop now one exclusive game for your platform is a reason as to why they was laying off people, bro. You think Sony's just going to have people sitting there, sitting there by their little chairs and ain't doing nothing? No, I would be laying off some, some people, too. The gaming industry is in such a pathetic state. People are making games. Some of them are selling great, but we're seeing mass firings. We're seeing so? more games come out rushed or broken or sometimes just filled with microtransactions. Only man, to- it is what it is, man. So you see, I tried to tell you guys, man, you people are living in the past. And the fact that you people are still holding on to the, the aspect of physical media shows you that you people still live it in the 1980s and the 1990s. That's another reason as to why we need online for our games, because they need to update them. I mean, imagine dropping a physical copy to a game and the majority of the content ain't even on the disc anyway. What is the point of it? It's, it's, it's essentially a paperweight, man. It's a license key. No different than what PC gamers had to deal with back in the days. Now console gamers are starting to see it for themselves. To see them instantly get shut down. And I feel like my frustration is something... What are you frustrated about, bro? You wake up every morning and make YouTube videos for a living. What are you frustrated about? I understand that you live with roommates, but there's no reason for you to be frustrated, bro. The fact that you have a, I would assume, a massive game collection, a collection where you can go back and play games. What is there to be frustrated about, bro? See, the problem is you fake wannabe gamers don't want to accept change. And that's the problem. Also, that's also impacting the gaming industry, too. I get it. I want to see the things that I know and love. I want to see the great Onimusha in the games that I played growing up come back in new forms. But it's not going to happen. That doesn't completely take away the experiences of what I had during the PS2 because Capcom don't want to, you know, re-release God Hand. You know? I still have access to these games, man. Therefore, I'm still happy. There's nothing for me to be frustrated about. Maybe for you new age gamers, but for me, bro, I got games for an eternity. So I don't know what you people complain about, man. Us can feel. I can tell. I don't by feel any comment section and stuff that people are. Just- you know why you guys feel this? Because you guys play only on the Xbox Series S and X and the PS5. That's why. Well, at least with the Xbox Series, you could get your games through Dev Mode, but still. That's the reason why, because you guys are looking at it from the aspect of PS5 and Xbox Series S and X games, which, to be honest with you, a lot of them happen to be boring. That's what I try to tell you, man. Retro gaming is the peak of video gaming and entertainment, man. That's where the love, that's where the passion was. That's why I go back to it. That's why I play a lot of old games. Because that's where the fun is, man. Not this new garbage. I mean, yeah, there's a few, you know, uh gems in the rough, but Overall, majority of the games suck. As upset as I am, but oh, this he's mess upset. With Bungie, it's much more complicated. The last 24 hours, I think we realized that Bungie has been lying. They've You've been, been lying since your channel has been created, man. I mean, the fact that you think that you're a Dreamcast fan just all because you got a Dreamcast hat on your head doesn't mean anything, bro, because you talk more about Sony and Xbox than you have ever done with Sega. Lying to PlayStation, they've been lying to fans, and they've even been lying to their own freaking employees. But let's discuss. Hi. Yeah, you know, multi-billion dollar companies don't lie. They've been lying to their fans, guys. This has been going on since the beginning of time, bro. This is what I'm trying to tell you guys. What are you guys complaining about, bro? 
That's all these companies do is lie to you. They're no different than these politicians, man. But yet you guys still vote for these candidates, bro. Your whole world, your whole reality is fake. How about I sit there and tell you that, man? The world that you live in is fake, bro. It's supposed to appear the way it's supposed to. But yet, like, this is something that I had to learn growing up, man. I had to learn this because if you if you don't, you're going to keep going through it. Like, I don't understand why these things are happening. I, I'm, I'm confused. I'm, 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 <laughs> You know, but when you start becoming a man and you start putting your energy into elsewhere, you start realizing, man, that all the stuff that's going on around you, you really don't care about it. You know, you don't care about it. It's not that you don't care about the things that are going on in the world, but you start realizing that these things are not going to impact my judgment and my sense of entertainment and fun. Because I'm telling you, these type of aspects, the negativity and the things that you guys are doing is only going to affect, affect you individually. OK, I'm just being honest with you, man. I, I'm, tell, I'm telling you from my own personal experience. I mean, I think a lot of us have succumbed to this in life, but it becomes a problem where you are like 40, 50 years old and you're still doing it. Where have you not learned, man? Like, I mean, imagine being that old and haven't learned anything like that is just that's shameful to me is a real gigantic piece of garbage. These people wow. here are... Do you know him personally? Have you talked to him? So what? Oh, because he makes Twitter posts. Oh, okay, Ed. Like, you see, this is the type of logic that I'm telling you that, telling you that these people live by. You don't even know these people, bro. And you're out here saying that this man's a piece of excrement. Are you serious, bro? Wow. Employees. These are community managers. These are developers and stuff who have spent people that I, I personally don't know or care about years and years of their life dedicated to the Bungie brand. And they've been blowing the whistle that apparently Sony's just been trying to get Bungie in line. And Bungie has been straight up lying. They claimed they're not going to do mass layoffs and who cares, bro? Oh, they claim, you know, Microsoft claimed that they wouldn't raise Game Pass Ultimate. I mean, just ha be happy that these things are here for you, man. You know, what is there to be happy about this, man? Game to people losing their job. People losing their job at McDonald's. Do you care? Let me make videos, you know, and GoFundMe's for the people that lost their job at McDonald's and Burger King. Do you care about that Dreamcast guy? Do you personally care? That guy that used to work at McDonald's used to make sure that every time I ordered my McDouble, it came hot, steaming, you know, and fresh. Now that he's gone, every time I order a McDouble, it's just nasty. You know, it's just nasty. Every time I order a quarter pounder with cheese, it's, it is filthy. All because they let that man go at McDonald's. Bro, you don't hear people doing this. You don't. Out of any faucet of life, you don't hear people doing this. I'm telling you right now. Just fire everybody, and that's exactly <laughs> what they did. But actually, wow. even in their own statement, they've lied. So oh, here we go. Paul Tassie. It here didn't we go. have a community note, and now it does. Uh, this community note. Was so I think what's pretty obvious is that Bungie has been overpromising. I think there's a good bet about the fact that Bungie has claimed they would make way more than they actually did. And, as and they did not care, bro. Because at the end of the day, they was making that money off Destiny, bro. What do you, what do you, what do you guys expect from this company, man? You see, at least with Microsoft, they acquired Bethesda and Activision, and they got games dropping on Xbox. They and date, mind you. You know, it's so funny that you guys want to sit there and say that gaming would be better if Sony was the one acquiring studios. We have a perfect example right here. We have a perfect example of a studio that Sony acquired and didn't take much use of it, all because of some banter that they got going on within the company. They have to listen to Sony. Sony owns them. So regardless of what Bungie thinks, they got to listen to Sony. This is all mismanaging by Sony themselves. This, don't blame Bungie for this. Don't blame Bungie for this. Because this was not Bungie's fault. This was Sony's fault. You got to blame it at the source. Because Sony could have forced them to make a game for them, but they didn't. That's why they canceled The Last of Us multiplayer. Not because the game wasn't finished, because they couldn't find a way to get that concurrent money off you individuals. That's all it was. That's all it, that's all it is. Same thing with the Marvel Spider-Man multiplayer. They're like, yeah, we could sell this game for $60, but we really want to be able to have a game where we could charge Last of Us Part 2 multiplayer. And, you know, maybe we sell you a home because, you know, the game is based off survival 
So what are you going to show you a, a survival hat or something like that? Nobody's going to pay $10 for some homeless looking shoes <laughs> on a game like Last of Us, man. That would have been a game that should have just been attached to the game already. And people would have played it very similar, similarly to Gears of War. Even Gears of War has created a system that's better than this with weapons, skins, you know, skins and characters that people actually want to purchase. You know what I'm saying? Sony still got to get this to, to get this together. They continue to fail to meet these financial expectations. They're getting absorbed. They're getting pushed into PlayStation because they just don't know how to actually run themselves. No, PlayStation don't know how to run the company. And to me, I do think this sucks because I think that more than anything else, these <laughs> firings are not just a clear sign of bad leadership. I think they're a sign about the fact that corporate greed and the entire game industry. But not everybody's getting the money, man. You guys could talk about how the CEO's getting the money, but what about the people that work underneath him? See, that's what you don't understand, man. This is not one for all, all for one. I mean, what are you people not understanding? Just because the CEO is spending $2.3 million on classic cars doesn't mean the people that work under him are doing the same thing. That means there's only one person getting all the money and people out there losing their jobs. It is what it is, man. This has been happening forever. It's getting ridiculous. It is getting so unmanageable. This is the CEO of Bungie. Like, now you want to hate the man for buying, spending $2.3 million on cars, man? That's his business, bro. Who cares? $2.3 million. That's still not enough to fund the game in today's gaming development. So why are you people getting mad about what a person does with his, with his own personal money? It's on classic cars after the acquisition. And? And? And this is ridiculous. IGN reported last fall that Bungie said, hey, are you going to take any pay cuts from the CEO or other people to try and manage the crisis? And they said, nope, we're not that type of company. The CEO, the executives, the people at the top are refusing to do anything to actually help the employees. They Why? When, what has the what has the employees like you can you tell me the late the next latest game that Bungie got coming out like why do you why do you guys think you deserve any of this so what who cares bro oh he spent 2.3 million on cars he could have gave that money to his employees and you think he cares fired 220 people well since you care Dreamcast guy how about you take your YouTube money and go give it to them since you're so concerned about these people losing their jobs right? Oh, no, you can't do that because you're too busy living with roommates paying rent. Of course, you're going to think about oneself, right? Yes. Like, that, that's the only thing I don't like, man. It's not the fact that I can't be generous. I am very generous in real life, but there's something that I can't stand is when people act like, oh, I'm so sad. It's, you know, it's so hurtful. And, and you know, I hate to see it. I hate to see it. You know, I hate to see it. When was the last time he had a GoFundMe for any of these people? Tell me. Tell me what he had. Like, for example, like, I know people can say that's e begging, but hey, at least he's doing something because he's so called frustrated about what's going on. But this whole fake sympathy, oh, I'm so, I'm so ashamed that Bungie, you know, and I can't believe they let, you know, these people have families and jobs while you are out here sitting here doing nothing, nothing to resolve this, then most people are going to tell you to be quiet. It's like these people that complain about the direction of the world, and then when you sit there and say, well, do, do something. Oh, huh? do something. You, you, you claim that this world is so evil, and, you know, and you're out here just complaining. You're not doing anything about it. Huh? Exactly. And I read their whole statement. It's just stop video, acting like it's, it's the, the fake careness. You know what I mean? Stop acting. Like, I don't like when people do that, bro. It's the people that act like they care, but in reality, they don't. You guys are all just looking out for yourself, which is fine. That's how humans was designed. You know what I mean? They they would have did the same thing to you. Okay? All I'm saying is, why do you guys care so much about these topics? Ain't none of this got to do with video gaming. I think they're like, oh, these people are so important. They're, they're so vital. Oh, well, you know what, buddy? Maybe it would actually be worth just not buying as many classic cars. Oh, you see? You see? Now you're telling a man what he should be able to do with his own money. Excuse me? Who is you? How about I sit there and tell you that you need to stop buying games? And how about you start giving games to your community? 
since you love gaming so much, you want to spread the love of gaming. You know, let me tell you something, man, because I don't like throwing my personal life out there. But I'm going to just say this, okay? There's times, right, guys, I take the money that I earn from YouTube and I give the money. Like, I'll go to GameStop, buy, you know, four for 20s, four for 10s. Actually, they got that going on. And I'll buy these games and just give them out to kids. These are things that I do, man. I'm not like that, you know, that that have to tell people the good deeds that I do for people in this world. I just do it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I'll take the money and I'll buy these games and I'll just give them to these kids or whatever. Just, you know, just to spread the love of gaming. Or if I see games on the I'll just, here, take this and, you know, spread the love of gaming. You feel me? And I try to do that as much as I can. But people like you, Dreamcast guy, you're not doing anything, man. And that's to me, is what's insulting. You want to sit there and complain about, oh, what this man is spending his money on. But, oh, but people can't do that to you? Why are you spending your money in roommates? Why are you spending your money doing what you want to do? If you was really that concerned for these people, you wouldn't be complaining about what this guy is doing. You'd be going out there, like Nike says, just do it. But you ain't doing that. You see? If it actually meant you got to keep your employees. This is so insane to me because more than anything else, this is going to screw PlayStation. It's going to screw Bungie. It's going to end this because there has been... I thought you cared about the people losing their jobs. Now you're worrying about Sony? I think Sony's all good, bro. I don't think there's nothing to be worried about. Experiments done by Nintendo where they have done their absolute best to not fire people. Uh, like uh, th this guy is slightly misquoting here when the because your people are better at quicker at learning the engine and stuff like that. And more than that, it makes the people that actually work there want to stick around. I despise the fact that so many of these companies now are like, OK, this guy deserves to have 18 billion dollars, but everybody else yeah. is sorry. You always... got to take a hike because you're not hitting our made up imaginary freaking financial goals. This greed. You hear this, bro? Oh, it's greed. It's greed because the person that's out there work for his money, man. You know, it, it's so. This is why I'm trying to tell you guys, man. Ain't none of you people. Oh, you got the Ackman. What is Ackman doing? Does Ackman got GoFundMe's for these people? What, do you, what are any of you gamers doing to help with this situation? Nothing, right? They got to deal with the problem all on their own, man. You claim to be a part of the gaming community and you hate. Keyword, you hate to see what's going on while you do nothing. I'm not saying they're telling you that I care. I understand that this is just a product of the world. This goes on in every faucet of business. I understand that. So that's why I'm not stressing out about this. But if it concerns you people that much about what a man of a CEO spending $2.3 million on classic cars, then maybe you should take your YouTube algorithm money and give it to them. Or how about this? Create a GoFundMe so where that money that's raised through your community can be funded to them. For all those lost 220 employees from Bungie. But no, we know you're not going to do it. So why do you guys act like you care? Thank you. And you guys have big platforms, so there ain't nobody want to hear it. The jerk said the exact same thing about the layoffs they did nine all months All you people ago, do is complain. it again today. Bro just cares about money and continues to prove he Ackman saying this, bro. Yeah, it is, bro. Ackman of all people sitting there talking about you, bro, just kid. Bro, what are you talking about, bro? You the same person. What did you mean? That's all you care about is money, too. Man, you know, this is this is what I'm talking about, man. Like, I'm not out here to chastise anybody about what they do or how they go about using and utilizing their money that they earned, right? Like, I, I mean, what are you guys talking about? This guy's greedy because he has more than you? So he's greedy because he makes more money than you. Eh? Celebrities make more money than every single one of us. They're not entitled to give you anything. It's like the same thing with Floyd Mayweather. Oh, Floyd Mayweather ain't no good boxing champion because, you know, he keeps the money. Why, for his generational wealth, for his family? I love when people say that. If I was rich, I'd be doing the same thing. Well, out of all these people that say that, how come ain't none of you people have done anything for the poor? You see, it's the it's it's like the fact that you guys complain because your lives are so miserable, and you see a man like him, he's happy, he's buying classic cars for himself, he's enjoying his life, and you want to point and blame the finger at him, even though he earned his money and he earned his position as a man. How dare you think you have the authority or the audacity to tell a man what he should do with his own personal money? Y'all like whoa, gamester? Yeah, exactly. 
Who gives you the right to tell him what he should do with his money when you ain't doing nothing with yours? Man, bro, this man got me messed up. Zero regard for his well-being of employees. F. Okay, Parsons. okay, Ackman. Then you know I would like to see you ha make a GoFundMe. You know what I mean? Because a lot of you guys are making some money off this topic. So how about you take the YouTube money from this video and give it to them, if you care that much. We don't. We already know you don't because we don't rent this up for you, Dreamcast guy, and you got to pay your roommates if you want to stay in your room. This is something I honestly did not know about, but it is wild that this dude pretty much posts the exact same thing. I have read a lot of- $2.3 million ain't even an, enough to fund a game in today's gaming demographic. And you guys are out here chastising this man based off what he's buying for himself, bro. The money that he's earned. Like, like you hear these people, bro? Like, you people, like, you, I want to feel thought of it, bro. That's what your family's for, bro. You know, I want to feel like they care about me, bro. Bro, what, huh? I'm confused. You see, you're talking on person. And I'm like, what is you talking about, bro? Like, that's what your family's for. That's what your close friends are for. Not some CEO. Are you serious? Like, how miserable are you, is your people's lives if you're dependent on a CEO to care about you? A person that you don't even know. These, we're I, so I can, sorry bro. to be firing you. I have made uh, just too many videos about mass layoffs. At, at Xbox, I do think Xbox is going to be closing more studios in the future, and I'm, I'm sad that we're going to have to read those closing statements as well. Well, how about every future video that you do on this topic, you take the money that you make from these videos and give it to the people that have lost their jobs. But you're not going to do that. So let's stop acting like you care. So that's the problem. Stop acting like you care, and don't you guys try to spin this narrative and say, well, get, I, bro, I'm not acting like I care. I'm telling you I don't care. I do my own ways of charity for the world, and this ain't one of them. I'm not going to sit there and have these fake sympathy, you know, and, you know, and expect people, you know. Like I told you, people, I told you what I've done. I've bought games for people, you know what I'm saying, for kids and everything. I do these things on a day-to-day -day basis. This is even way before YouTube, Okay. I keep my things private because I'm not entitled to tell people anything. And on top of that, I don't want people giving me, oh, that game, that's a good thing. That's a good thing. I mean, now people are probably going to say that, but that's not something that I want, right? If I do a good thing for somebody, that's for the person. You know what I'm saying? That's not me for me to brag about. Hey, look at me. Look at what I did. I, I took it and buy some games for some underprivileged kids. Hey, let me get my camera and show you guys what I'm doing for the world. That to me is corny. That, I don't like that type. That, that to me is corny behavior, and I do not respect that. Because that means deep inside you're doing it because you're trying to clear some, some bad karma that you got going on in your life, and you're not really a good individual. You know what I'm saying? You're just trying to put up a good... You're, you're paying money for a good image. How about that? That's, that's what it sounds like to me. But I hate the fact that they're always like, we're so sorry. These cut and paste things are so ridiculous. And the fact that this man is buying... 10, oh God, look, look at all the cars this guy bought from one auction site, $2.3 million of- You worried about what a man is spending his money on, man, more power to him. Cars. My point here is the Hayden. fact that- Hayden. I'm getting continually aggravated about the fact that video games feel like they're getting worse and nobody is winning. Employees. Well, that are, guy, he, I mean, he's clearly winning if he's spending $2.3 million on cars. Getting <laughs> it's he not winning. like we're getting more games for it. It's not like we're getting more passion or creativity. Oh, my God, bro. Go back to the 80s and 90s, bro, when the gaming industry was new. Stop. Nobody stop right there, bro. Stop right there. Nobody cares, bro. You guys act like you can't just go back 20 years and play some of these games, man. If it's that important to you, go back to the era where it was important to you. Like, I, I don't get these complaints. There was Instead, you guys want to blame a CEO at Bungie for spending all these money on cars. It's him, you see. It's people like him that lack the passion. So you're saying that the man can't have a hobby. A thing a couple <laughs> years ago, which was the... The man can't have a hobby. Uh, I started my YouTube channel. I started really blowing up on YouTube like a decade ago at this point. You know, Hello, I started okay. making videos. I quit my job in 2016. I've been doing this full time now for eight years. And there was almost this kind of philosophy that 
the big corporations would play it safe. They would make the games that, you know, printed money. Call of Duty and Fortnite, the stuff like that that's going to be easy. Playing it safe, don't get that money. Monetizable and mainstream. Whereas the indie scene, they were the people that pushed innovation. Like seeing stuff like Hades that kind of pushed roguelikes to more of a mainstream appeal. Or and did you hate on that game because it was Game Pass on day and date? Play the Spire, which made card games extra popular. He bought 10 less classic cars. How much more money? Why are we sitting there? And how about you buy 10 less games, bro? How about 10 less T-shirts? Oh, I forgot. He don't even have many T-shirts, right? He uses the same hat. I can't even say 10 less hats. What what are you talking about? How about you buy 10 less cheeseburgers? 10 less Kentucky Fried Chicken buckets, Dreamcast guy. How about you start doing your part too? You want to sit there and blame this man for spending $2.3 million on a car because you don't have the privilege of doing it. But guess what? You have the you have more privilege, you're more privileged than most people in this world. Like, I, I don't understand why as gamers we have succumbed to the point where we're worried about what another man is doing with his funds, bro, at a video gaming company. You don't know if he does. You don't know if he did charity work. You don't know if he's donated any of his money. You don't know what he's doing. And this is what you people are saying. Because he has a hobby and he likes classic cars? Seriously? I like classic games. Oh, Gamester, you'll be spending no thousand dollars on no classic game, Pants of Dragoon Saga. And it's my money. What is you, what is you talking about? I can do what I want. Okay? Ain't nobody talking about no leaky basements like what your friends be doing, right? Exactly. I don't want to hear it from you, fool. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Gaming community, stop being like this, man. That man can buy his $2.3 million worth of cars because that is his money. Okay? He worked for it. He didn't hustle nobody. He didn't do nothing bad for it. You get what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Like, y'all, y'all, y'all way, like, way like way off on this one you feel me like i get it that you guys are desperate for content but this ain't the way to do it but hopefully you guys enjoy this video and like i said take care peace out